Hello and welcome back. So this video is supposed to be a quick video um, compared to the other videos that I'm doing. It's all about the water pump. So just going to be taking the, the old water pump off. Now you don't have to do this when you're doing a procedure like this, changing the head gasket uh, or even the timing belt, but it is recommended because they, they fail on these cars and when they do go, um, you lose all your cooling, which is a bad thing. So um, it's going to be taking the, the pump off, comparing it to the new one, putting the new one back on, Simple as that. So removing the water pump should be quite straightforward. We've got two bolts that we can access from the top here and here. These are eight mil bolts. And we've got three access from below. Got one on the left hand side, just here. And then two below. So one just here and one on this side. On the right hand side, there's a, a bolt to take out and then this as well. Um, yeah. So before you start this, you need to make sure that the coolant is drained down, otherwise it's going to gush all over you, and obviously the timing belt's removed, but other than that, it should be quite straightforward. So this is quite difficult to film. So I'm coming in with an um, impact wrench uh, with a few extensions, wobbly socket and an 8mm as well. 8mm socket. because it makes it quicker. They were lock tighted in, by the way. This last one is a, a 13 mil on the main shaft here. This is quite rounded off. So I'm, rather than just undo this and then that, I'm just going to undo this. The old fashioned way with a spanner. Now this has got two dowels that it sits on, so there's one here and one further up, so it should just pull, pull off. So I'm going to attempt to do this from the top instead. It should probably come off a little bit smoother than that. So we've managed to get the water pump off um, and before I put the new one back on, I'm just going to compare the new one with the old one. It's always a good idea to do that when putting uh, parts back on the car, especially aftermarket parts and things like that, just to make sure everything looks similar. Um, so I'm going to do this now. If you wasn't planning on changing the water pump and say you was just doing the timing belt, um, they do say you can, if you if you turn turn this, if there's any sort of movement or, or slacking here, that's a good sign that the bearings are on the way out and so then you would you would change it, but you haven't necessarily got to change this every time. Um, this actually feels relatively okay. And when it's come off, um, I mean, the gasket's there for a start, that's not a bad thing. Uh, when you see a lot of people put these back, um, you see them putting a bead of gasket maker in there first, and that does a couple of things. It helps with sealing, um, but it also keeps the the new seal in place when you're putting it back in so there's no chance of that coming away or getting pinched or anything like that so so in the new box we get the new seal which is good we get the pump as well that's uh, good So does it feel any different? Actually, yes, it does feel different. In this one, when you turn it left and right, you can feel a little bit of slack in there, a little bit of resist, uh, well, no resistance. It's probably 
only a few thousandths of an inch before it, it bites again, but it is noticeable. There's nothing left or right that way, but definitely that way. Not so much in this one. It's much firmer and there's no slack in there, so it's just as well probably replacing it, but they look about the same to me. It's my expert eye. Holes are where they're supposed to be. So, so before I put this one on, I'm going to clean the surface um, before it goes back on and then I'm going to put a bead of sealant in here and then I'm going to put the gasket on. So this is just high temperature gasket maker. So I'm just going to put a thin bead in here, nothing too crazy. So I'll clean this up in just a second, but for now we're going to match this up. So that's held in there firmly. So I'm just going to put this back on. So with the pump removed, you can see two dowels just sticking out top and bottom. And we're going to seat the pump on those first. What I'm also going to do is just put a drop of Loctite, not much, just a little bit on each of these, just because they had some when they came out. It'll help work its, keep them in. So we've got the new water pump in, and the bolts are all torqued down, Loctited in, ten newton meters all the way around. Uh, I used a torque wrench on those. That's all in there, looking nice. So next will be the gasket around the oil pump. So what I'll need to do is take this nut off, take off the uh, timing gear, and then undo the nine bolts, plus a couple of other bolts down here, to take off the entire oil pump. Behind there is a gasket um, and something else, a bit of a seal inside there as well, um, just because it's so messy and whatnot. Um, and it only cost a few pounds anyway for the kit, the gasket kit. We might as well do it while we're here. So that'll be in the next video. Um, shouldn't take too long because access is quite easy. Um, the oil isn't drained down and I don't plan on draining it down just yet. So I'm hoping all the oil is in the sump as opposed to up here somewhere, which I'm sure it will be. So yeah, so that's in the next one. Thanks very much.